Hey guys, it's Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be exploring the Forerunner ship on the OG main menu and showing you guys some details that you probably missed about it. And, I mean, you, a lot of the details like you probably would never have been able to notice, actually. So, here we are back on the OG Halo 3 main menu, which we don't really get to see in MCC at all because it wasn't really included uh, much. It's in the mod tools, but it was removed from MCC pretty early on in the game files. Not that it was ever used. So, in a previous video, I did show you, like, a bunch of secret areas on the main menu, like secret rooms and stuff, used for, um, certain aspects of the original main menu. But we never really explored further out. And that's because further out of the ship, it's, uh, well, it's all, like, outside of the map's geometry. So using like theater mode to explore around the main menu like I did in some previous videos, we couldn't actually fly this far out because it's out of bounds of the actual physical map. But now, we can actually take a look around here and get a much closer look at the Forerunner ship for the first time. And you, you know, you may think, you know, it's probably the same as the Forerunner ship used in game and on actual missions, but something about it already doesn't look quite right to me. So, Obviously, with this blue filter on the main menu, it's hard to see the details, so let's turn off the filter and switch it to full color. So, in the full color version, we can actually see the details much clearly. And here, we can see that this Forerunner ship is actually untextured. I thought it was low poly at first, but it's actually just, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just untextured. It, it most likely is the same you know, model used as in the campaign, the rest of the campaign but just without textures. Which surprised me, actually, because normally, uh, Bungie actually has pretty good attention to detail for a lot of, like, objects that are, you know, far out of the map, are, like, really far away, or even things that you never see, but they add, like, full details to it. Like, like a ship will have, like, a specific name on it that's lore accurate or something like that, uh, and stuff like that. But for the main menu of Halo 3, the OG main menu on the Xbox 360 version, they left the ship untextured out here. Not that you would have ever notice the difference, especially with the blue filter on. Uh, I mean, even up close with the blue filter on, it was kind of hard to see the details to begin with. But it is indeed untextured, and that was something that you would never have been able to notice unless you were able to fly up close and remove the filter, which uh, would have been quite difficult back then. Uh, but the actual form on the ship looks like this in game. And this is on, on a mission, The Storm. Uh, I, I think it's different than the one used in the cutscene, actually, so it might look a little bit different. But this one is the one you see in-game. You can see it is fully textured, uh, although I think the textures might be from Halo 2. It does look very Halo 2-esque to me. I uh, just don't remember off the top of my head what the Halo 2 version actually looks like, but the art style of the textures do look uh, pretty Halo 2-ish. So that's, uh, that's what the Forerunner ship looks like in-game compared to on the main menu. The one on the main menu is its own special version, as you can see, and it is pretty far out of the bounds of the actual main menu map that's used. Uh, so there you guys have it. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting. It's uh, a little bit shorter, but uh, hopefully it's uh, interesting nonetheless. If you didn't enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thousand comments. If there's anything else you can check out, look into, or explore, just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.